Hello friends, welcome back to another episode and in this episode we'll talk about a very important uh, concept in ABAP that is called parallel processing techniques. I think in many cases when we see that there is a performance improvement is required and we have a huge amount of data to process and sequential processing definitely will take a good amount of time and to improve it we go for a look for certain techniques through which we can process this good amount of data in packet or kind of a in parallel processing is only possible if you create multiple packets and each uh, thread or each you know task will you know consider one of the packet to process so that is a simple uh, thought process that we use and for that in sap we have different options available right i have mentioned different options in this list uh, though our main focus in this uh, episode to talk about spta framework but before getting into that, let's spend one or two minutes the other available options. The first one I call it as a call function starting a new task, which is using an asynchronous RFC concept. It creates a different task and where we process our you know record, bunch of records. And once the processing is over, then in the callback, we write our own custom logic for the further you know handling. And uh, this is generating a new task because we don't have a threading concept in ABAP. So it's a different task that it, uh, it creates. Now the second option is a background RFC. In general, we use this concept, uh, which is of course the successor of TRFC and QRFC. Uh, definitely, I think you know that uh, transitional and QRFC means I want to do a certain kind of a unit processing, means I want to go for a, all the create, all the operations has to be done uh, either commit will happen or rollback will happen means either all records will be created otherwise nothing will be created kind of a unit uh, you know processing i want to achieve and then we go for this background rfc and it has certain configurations that we need to perform the third option is a background job the background job definitely doesn't give you a parallel processing concept but what happens in certain cases customer complains that the program gets timed out right because of the good amount of data is being processed so we say okay go for a background job so no worries about a timeout but that is not a solution right because background job will take a good amount of time to close it to, to close the processing so yeah the fourth option probably we we definitely recommend to our customer where we create you know master program and kind of a spawn or child programs or child jobs it will create and uh, through which we can you know each child job or spawn job will process certain bunch of records right in parallel and that way timeout issue will also be uh, will be also be get rid of and also at the same time the parallel processing can be achieved but anyway let's get into the SPTF framework and another framework is there called bank pp jobs you know ctrl this is another uh, technique which is also robust and little difficult because it's not that straightforward and maybe in some other episode we'll talk about this one but uh, SPTA framework is very simple robust and very popular and it can solve many other issues for example in call starting new task we need to check the different available work processing right how many work processes are there etc and uh, for this example spawn jobs also it has certain downside means I have to be very careful how many spawn jobs I'm allowing to create by the master program i cannot consume all the resources right so this kind of things also need to be taken care of while we'll go by this kind of a design but spta framework is very simple and it doesn't we didn't we don't need to much you know worry about those kind of things so let's get into that thing how it works now spta framework is also using an app you know asynchronous rfc it also uses a callbacks and it's a dialogue work process okay though it's running in a uh, different task but it's not a background job okay and the main big backbone of this processing or framework is this particular function model which does all the magic okay and there are three subroutine or you know function uh, methods are there modules are there which are responsible to perform certain important task in this framework the first one is kind of a before uh, rfc is for preparing the work packets you have a bunch of records and you want to split the record for processing so this splitting will happen in this one that's all the second one in rfc 
is the actual business processing logic which you need to write over here right and the final one is for the certain result consolidation okay so let's uh, go into a program that sap has already created that you can find in this package called spta and the program name is called spta para demo one i don't need to create any new program from scratch i think this program is good enough to explain and the topic this program takes certain parameters as you can see the first one is rfc group and this one then you need to set configured in rz12 in my case is a parallel generator so if i just run this program and i can see in the drop down i have it over here which i can select now you can have to you have to mention the number of concurrent tasks that you are planning to execute and these two things is just for this specific demo program it takes uh, a bunch of numbers and it will try to calculate so let's go back and you see this is the backbone it takes this uh, maximum number of tasks and assigns this kind of a different subroutine right you can give any subroutine name but you have to mention make sure those subroutines you define later on as a form and form all right so, so this is the first one before rfc and it actually uh, does the packaging and put into this internal table once it is done it says like okay i need to now encode this data from internal table it will convert into the extreme fashion and it has to uh, set the start rfc boolean as true because that will ensure that it will go to the next or uh, subroutine or call in rfc module which is the just after before rfc you can see so here the first one is set update as local that you need to ensure then you need to decode the content and you need to write your business processing logic here this one is just for this specific to program just calculating the you know prime factors but in your case it will be a different uh, logic of course once it is done you need to just fill that exporting work area and finally you need to again encode and write the commit work so that you don't lose any data commit because by default it will do a rollback if you don't commit and final things is after rfc where it will again decode the content back to string uh, to you know uh, to internal table and that you can just collect it that's all uh, the model it works this way and any uh, Either happens that you can you know correct something over here now to explain this one i think it is good to go for certain debugging i think uh, okay let's set it up then before rfc also i need to set it up and then in rfc also i need to set it up and finally the after rfc i need to set it up once again so let's execute it and uh, for the demo purpose i want to put the concurrent task as 5 so that it will not create multiple sessions and click on execute first it will hit to the backbone and then uh, the next one it will go to before rfc where the packaging will happen and the packaging will be put into this content which i can just put a breakpoint and we can I can show you what happens inside it takes the 40 records so okay so to for the processing because 100 to 300 is the range it was and i don't know what's happening to this here 100 to 139 records it's just processed rest uh, number of records it will go for the next uh, before rfc model and the sequential it will come and finally it is actually converting back to the extreme so enter 40 records converted to the extreme and next it will ensure this boolean is set so that it goes to in rfc and in rfc is actually a different session it runs by another function model called spta rfc invoke internal that's a different function model all right so i'll not and also before rfc is coming because it is you know now collecting the residual data to process I'll not trigger it, but I'll just show how it is going on over here. All right, and uh, it will convert back from decoding means from extreme back to the 
internal table currently it is uh, empty so if i f6 you see back 40 records you received it and which you can now process with your business logic you put your business logic and this is your data i think exporting parameter will have uh, what, what happened three f6 yeah so now you can see this data converted to you know prime factors as it was the uh, intended for and finally execute it so now it is still in before rfc means another session is going on again execute and you will see the in rfc again gets triggered so i'll close it and i'll just show a couple of times because after some five sessions uh, it will come to after rfc right because concurrent uh, task i told five if it is more than it will be more number of concurrent tasks that that record will be distributed probably now you probably understood the sequence first is before then in and finally after and if i just remove all breakpoints and run you'll see the results right now the thing is uh, you understood the uh, how easily it works and how easily you can set your business logic now you can come back to this uh, approaches and uh, what i was saying about this background job now the thing is the background job which was initially not a parallel processing but with this SPTF framework we can embed and the same background job will become a parallel processing enabled plus the no timeout problem so that means i wanted to say like this program can also be now go for a parallel processing right so i can now put more number of tasks if i want and go for f9 and i can put certain output device execute and now set it immediate check and save so one background job is now scheduled so what i'll do i will open sm37 to see the data and yeah i think the latest one is here this one right so select it and you see this and you see this data is all coming back as a spool right so that means again i'm emphasizing to use this uh, concept with a background job and spta framework a uh, lot of complexities can be minimized and you don't need to go by this pawn jobs process so i hope you understood the concept how it works and definitely will be able to try it out in your project let me know uh, whether you have any queries or not in the comment section and uh, share and subscribe this content if you like this one shortly we'll connect to a different topic until then goodbye